Hello my lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you have a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we're doing a little Halloween look. I love Halloween. It's... I don't know. I just, I love Halloween. My most favorite part is seeing all of the wonderful costumes that everybody purchases, comes up with, adds their own little tweak to it. It's just, I love it. Don't ask me why, I just do. So I actually really wanted to create some Halloween looks for this year and I asked for you guys to vote and you said one Halloween look a week is what you wanted. So that's why we're here. Um, it's going to be a simple one. I got some little double horns here. So yeah, let's, let's get to playing and create a cute little Halloween look. Okay, lighting is kind of, I may need to play with it. I'm going to get my makeup done and then I'll go and do my hair. But for now, let's keep it out of the face. So my base is down. I did go in to the Dior Forever Matte and the Glowy one. I kind of mixed the two. And I also went into the Dior um, Concealer. Okay, so we're going to start off with this NYX uh, Jumbo Black Bean Eye Pencil. And that's going to go, I didn't put any um, eye primer down, but it's okay. I think we'll be fine. I'm going to wash this off right after. But if you're wearing this for the night, I would say definitely put on eye primer so it does increase. Like even if you do set this with powder afterwards, I feel like it'll still like crease if you don't set your eye eyelids with eye primer, especially if you have oily eyelids plus I feel like Halloween makeup just kind of brings out your oils more because you're putting a lot more of it on I feel like okay this is a Anastasia little double dual ended brush and I'm using the flat side and I'm going to just spread this out evenly all the way to the crease you can go a tiny bit over but it doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be covered up and I am going to bring it on the lower. I did set my whole face and everything with powder since I'm working mostly with powders. Okay, now we're going to dip in to the My Dream palette from Natasha Denona. And we're going to use the blackest black in the palette. It's the shadow we're going to utilize to set this liner. And I'm going to use the fluffy side of this dual ended brush. So, okay, and I'm basically just going to set the liner that I put down. And we're not trying to be super precise because we are going to do blending. Usually with Halloween eye looks, at the end is when it starts coming <laughs> together. So don't freak out. Do not freak out. My eyelids are already creasing with that liner. So yeah, just set all of the liner that you used. Okay, we are looking like a straight up raccoon. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to dip into a palette that I haven't used in a while. I really don't support this brand anymore, but I feel like it has a lot of red tones in here. And it's the um, Blood Sugar from Jeffree Star. So now we're going to start dipping into some of these reds. This black is kind of creasing already, so I might have to use like a shimmery black on top of this. I don't know yet. We'll see here at the end. Okay, so first shade I'm dipping into is going to be this bright red one right here. And I'm using the same brush. I just wiped it off. And I'm going to use this to blend out the edges. Oh yeah, just like that. Perfect. I would probably wipe my brush in between, especially once you notice it start looking muddy. 
just wipe it and then dip again into the red and that should help now this is a halloween look so don't be scared to really just blow it out go crazy Okie dokie, this is what we got so far. Now we're going to bring some dimension to this face. I'm going to start with the darkest shade that I'm going to use. And um, let's start with this one here. This is an e.l.f. brush, I believe. It's like a fluffy, almost blush brush. Okay, and this is going going to use this kind of like I would contouring you know we are going to dip into black I'm just going to start with the red first because I don't want it to look muddy you know and I would also suggest when you're doing your Halloween looks use like older brushes you don't want to mess up your nice like pretty brushes that you would use every day, you know? And I'm going to exaggerate this and do it not how I would do my normal makeup because normally I leave a space here but I think I am going to add some here for this look. And I think I'm going to add some here too. Okay, now we're going to add more red, <laughs> of course. I'm going to jump into one that's a little bit lighter. So this one here, it's definitely, when you're doing it looks like this, the more dimension, just the more blending, the better it will look. I'm going to use the same brush. I did wipe it off just a tiny bit. And this is where I'm really going to focus on blending. We are going to contour the nose. So that's why I didn't mind that the red was way in there. And with this Sigma Soft Blend 1-0, that's what I used for up here. For like places I need to be more precise, you know? And then if you wipe your brush, blend up the edges so you're not adding any extra product. Just have like a rag handy, you know? Okay, now I'm going to dip into these two here with that Sigma Soft Blend 4.0. I'm literally just dipping into both. And this is before I start adding some black into this. I'm just going to really deepen up the edges of everything here. Like just the edges. And just a tiny bit where I'm going to lay down the black contour. This is what I'm going to use here to contour the nose. Because it does not need to be precise. And then I'll add a tiny bit of red. 
adding a tiny bit of red, just so that it doesn't look too purple. Okay, I'm going to add now the brightest red with that fluffy elf brush. I just feel like we're losing a tiny bit of red here. And we definitely want red to be our main focus. This is just an alternative um, from having to paint your whole face red. Which I know can be a pain in the butt. Um, Halloween is what? A Monday this year? Yes, yeah, so if you want to work the next day, you know, you don't want to go looking all stained. Okay, now with this fluffy brush, it's an e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. There's nothing on it. It's completely clean. I'm going to clean up the edges of this. Everything, honestly. Just so I can look airbrushed, you know? And this is before I add black to this okay there is like a shimmery red in this right here blood sugar and i'm going to add a tiny bit just so it can look like i have blush on you know okay i'll probably use like a um pinky peachy kind of highlight maybe oh yeah there you can see the sheen you see the creasing on my eyelids i think i'm gonna have to use a shimmery block okay let's fix these eyes i did just use like a little brow brush and dipped into the deepest or blackest black from the Natasha Denona and did my brows. I also give them a little bit of character in the front, but we're going to leave those alone for now. I'm going to dip into my Alice in Wonderland palette because this one has like a shimmery black in here. So we're going to dip into that and fix these eyes a tiny bit. Okay, so we're going to jump in to that Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Um, let me start with this side. And I'm going to put this on top of this. I probably should have put down some eye base, but I didn't think it was going to crease this bad. It's okay though, because usually shimmer fixes the problem. I'm going to bring it down here as well. Okay, I have this Wet n Wild multi-stick. It's a white one. I think I want a white inner corner and then I am going to dust in the middle and like wear a half foundation. Just a tiny bit of white shadow. Um, I feel like that's just going to brighten up a tiny bit more. So I'm using the Natasha Denona, but I'm using the um, diffuse side, which is like the small little pencil side. And I'm going to add this in the inner corner before I set it down with powder because this doesn't actually set down. It stays tacky. Yes, okay. I'm going to wipe the brush. And there's a white in this palette. It's not the absolute best white. The best white I have used is from um, the uh, Norvina palette. Which one is it? The four or the five? I think it's the four. But, you know, it's doing the job, so... Okay, before I go on with the lashes, let me just go in with a tiny bit of black. This is a Morphe M500, and I'm just going to add a tiny bit onto the tip. That's what she said. And I'm going to lightly 
dust this right here. Yes, right there. So this is like our contour contour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, perfect. Mm-hmm, just like that. And up here, right there. Okay, so I got the lashes on, but I decided to only do a half lash. I do have here this um, glitter thing from, I think this is from NYX. So I think I'm just going to, it's like a liner. Add a tiny bit of this to my actual lashes, just so they can kind of blend a tiny bit. Um, they just looked and felt so bulky that I decided to only do a half lash. Oh yeah, I think that's working perfectly. It's not going to be as intense as the fake lashes, but it's going to do the job, you know? Still gonna put mascara on my lower lashes. Fix my hair, but um, when I get back, we'll finish our word of the lips together and then we'll be done. Okay, got my horns on. I have such a weird shaped head that like these don't fit well on my head. Okay. I feel like they're crooked. All right, I think last but not least, oh, I did go in a tiny bit with this on the lower lash line. Um, my lashes actually, I should say. I don't know if you could see it. I definitely would not suggest to do this. I'm just doing this for the look, but I would normally not tell you to put glitter by your eyes. <laughs> Don't do it. If you want to do it, that's your choice. <laughs> All right, we're going to go into this little uh, Sigma liquid lipstick in Venom, which is perfect for this eye look. I got it um, when I ordered my Alice in Wonderland collection. I'm going to try it just on its own. Oh, that's a beautiful red. Before going in with... lip liner see if I can get away without having to go into lip liner okay but I think we are finally done This lipstick is actually pretty nice. I don't think it's going to sit down. What is this? It's just the Sigma liquid lipstick. Venom is the tone shade. Okay, but that's it. This is my little quick, well, it wasn't quick. It took like two hours, <laughs> but here it is is use any red eyeshadow palette that you have this is just the palette that i own that has like all the tones of like reds and pinks and purples that way i didn't have to dig in to another palette um for like reds i did have to dig into black but that's fine no big deal i definitely say use eye primer and if you have a black shimmery shadow like this I would say it's probably better because for me personally 
even when I do like eye base liner and then powder um, like a black eyeshadow, it still creases on me. I have pretty oily eyelids, but I feel like if you use a uh, shimmery black, it would probably go better. Oh yeah, by the way, this is my new camera. Let me know what you think. I'm hoping that the footage, like the actual quality is better. Okay, but yeah, here it is. First Halloween look of the season. Super cute, simple, nothing hard. Okay, yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Hopefully I don't have a... Okay, I don't have red lipstick. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween look. It's definitely like something that you could just throw on for a last minute party if you get invited to one or not. Okay, let me know what you think and I will see you on the next video and uh, more Halloween looks are coming for sure. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, guys, you have a spooky, spooky day. Bye.